Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is where we travel around the country, eat all kinds of great foods and bring reviews to you. Today we are in St. Augustine, Florida at the Salt Life restaurant. Salt Life, you've all heard of it. You may even have a hat that says Salt Life on it. Anyway, we're gonna go inside and check it out. Right when you walk into this restaurant, you feel like you're on the beach. In fact, there's a beautiful aquarium and then super nice hostesses. They're going to help you choose whether you want to sit inside, outside, upstairs. We chose an inside table today. The menu is nice. It has a ton of fish, but offered in a lot of different forms. For example, you can get it served in sushi, tacos. You can do a basket that comes with fries a dinner that comes with a nice fancier side dish or on the back page there's a bunch of sandwiches and other handhelds that might just be something that you're looking for. We had a long day today driving. Um, we actually had a few stops. The weather was nice but once we got all set up we decided we needed a beer. So as one one of our motivations for heading to this place was beer. They have a great bar here. Um, I skipped the cocktails just because I needed something refreshing. So we went with the Funky Buddha. Never had it, but I love the name, so hey. All right, our food came, and it came fast. I would say probably under 10 minutes from the time we ordered it, and it looks fantastic. Check this out. What this is, is this is a grilled salmon BLT. So you can see the salmon, you can see the, the bacon, the lettuce, the tomato, and it looks like it's on like a brioche bun. I like to say brioche. That looks super delicious. And I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. Amy just told me I have some sauce. Let me see. It's so weird. Not good. That is super good. In fact, I've never had a BLT with salmon on it. And I'll have to say that that's how I'm getting them from now on. That was super good. And it came with fries. But you know what? They taste like french fries. They're good. I decided to go with the fried grouper basket. Now, honestly, I don't like to order fish and chips a lot because they're incredibly fattening. But what drew me to the grouper at this restaurant was something that they're calling a key lime drizzle, which they actually, I asked her to put it on the side. Um, it didn't come with the basket, but I went ahead and ordered it that way. So I'm gonna try some of that. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick little bite. That fish was cooked well, hopefully not too well. Oh, it's good. I like grouper. Do we get grouper at places elsewhere? Is it harder to find? I don't know. Am I being silly? I don't know. Why do I not remember seeing grouper in Oregon? Am I being silly? No. Okay. No. I'm just wondering. No. Okay, so a little tartar. That's good. And then really quick. Stay with me. Okay. Let's try this. Hmm key lime drizzle. Okay. Woo! That is lime. That's got a lot of, that's a lot of lime. Here, I'm gonna put it on a french fry. Wow. Okay, so if you're at Salt Life, ask them to do the key lime drizzle on the side, no matter what you order. Tell them if you're gonna put your fries in it, just so you can taste it. Um, I've never seen it offered before, and I love it. Salmon BLT, also something I've never had. Ooh, I think I might eat that big chunk of bacon. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. 100%. That is delicious okay I'm gonna tell you the truth I thought this place was gonna be a little bit more mid-range like Applebee's or Chili's or something like that 
I think although the prices are a little higher on their menu, this is delicious. And this was on the handheld section. This was not one of the more expensive. And I actually like this better than the fish and chips that I got from the menu on the baskets. My turn for the grouper. And like Amy was saying, we never see grouper on the West Coast. I don't think grouper is on the West Coast. And if it is, I've never seen it there. So that's one thing that we really love about eating in Florida. Because this is like, I don't know, it's like one of my favorite fish to eat. So, dip it in the tartar. Mm. That's cooked perfect. It's not dry. The breading is really good. It's not too thick or heavy. Um, Mmm, it's so good, but I gotta try the drizzle. Don't double dip when you're with your friends because they'll never take you out again. But when you're with your wife, you can double dip all you want. Oh. I need to put some of the drizzle on my salmon BLT. Don't touch my drizzle. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna drizzle it one more time. Who is the drizzle? Who is the drizzle? <sighs> Shout out to Aqua Teen, for those of you that know. Anyway, oh my, that is so good. Like Amy said, if you're gonna be at the Salt Life, get the drizzle. Well, what did we think about Salt Life? Well, everybody, unfortunately, when I got home and checked the video, it turns out my microphone was off at the conclusion of Salt Life. So here I am to tell you what we felt about this experience. The restaurant was awesome. The service was great. On a Friday night, there wasn't a lot of people here, so it was easy to get in and sit down quickly. The food was great. The beer selection was good. I can't say enough good things about Salt Life. So if you guys are out, and you're in the St. Augustine area and you're looking for a place to just go and get some good food and have some fun, I highly recommend hitting up Salt Life. And if you decide to go, make sure to get the drizzle because the drizzle is the shizzle. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, but most importantly, shoot us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear some recommendations of where you think we should eat, whether it's good food, historic food or just kind of a weird place to go we want to check it out because we're traveling all around the country and at some point we're going to be in your neighborhood so we want to check it out and also check out our travel blog it's just us going to cool places taking you along with us it's called our american road trip i'll put the information in the description down below so until next time everybody we'll see ya